This is the system dashboard. The system dashboard is the jumping off point to the different modules within the system. For example, the portfolio module or the task module. Simply choose the option and that will then navigate you to that module. This is the portfolio list. You can access the portfolio list by choosing the portfolio list option from the dashboard. The portfolio list lists all of the properties you have access to. You can filter for a property by opening the filter and entering your search parameters. To view a property, click on the property. Each property is given a unique identification number, its type, its address, town, postcode, tags, and who's responsible. You also have controls. By choosing the ellipsis, you can edit, view the event log, or delete the property. This will depend on your user access rights. This is the property record. The property record consists of an about page, structure, action plan, documents, event log, and an asbestos register, if you subscribe to the asbestos module. The about page consists of all information relating to the property, including the property image, and any additional information that your organization wishes to record against its properties. You can perform certain actions, you can edit and delete, depending on your user access rights. This is the property structure tab. The property structure tab lists all of the internal structures within a building, for example, floors and rooms. You can navigate through these structures by clicking on the structure. You can add new structures or sectors by going to the action and add sector. This will depend on your user access rights. The action plan, documents, event blog, and asbestos register are all dependent on the level that you are viewing. You can navigate back to the top level or the previous level by choosing the option here. This is the property action plan. The property action plan lists all of the tasks associated to a property. You can view a task by choosing the task from the list. You can search for a task by going to the open filter and entering your filter parameters. All tasks have got a unique identification number, a task name, a location within the building, a due date, status and cycle, any tags and responsibility, whether that's a team or an individual. You can also control tasks by going to the ellipsis. You can edit a task, complete a task, add remedials to plan tasks, view the remedials, view the event log or delete a task. These are all dependent on your user access permissions. This is the property documents page. Your organization may have already set up pre default folders or added documents to your properties. You can also add folders and documents by going to the action and add folder or document. To view folders, choose the folder. And from there, you can have either documents or additional folders. Again, choose the folder. And there you can see and download the document by choosing the document. You've got an ellipsis. So depending on your user access roles, again, you've got a number of options available to manage documents or folders. To navigate through the folder structure, simply choose the options from the list. The property event log records all transactions against the property. You can export this list and review it in Excel if necessary. This is the property's asbestos register. The asbestos register lists all asbestos containing materials identified as part of an asbestos survey. You can search for an asbestos containing material by going to the open filter and entering your search parameters. If your user level allows, you can also add ACMs at this point. To view an ACM, choose the ACM from the list. This will provide more details, including any photos that have been added. You will only see the asbestos register if your organization subscribes to the asbestos module. This is the task list. You can view the task list by choosing the task list option from the dashboard. Here you will see any task that you have access to. You can search for a task by going to the filter option and entering your search parameters. To view a task, click on the task. All tasks give a unique identification number, a task name, location of the task, its due date and status and cycle, any task tags, and who's responsible. That can be a team or an individual. You also have controls where you can edit a task, complete a task, add remedial tasks to plan tasks, view remedial tasks, view the event log, and you can delete. These will all depend on your access rights. This is a plan task. A plan task consists of a about page, remedial tasks, documents, an event log, and any completion history. The about page lists all of the information relating to this task, including its status, its UID, 
name, description, when it's due, its frequency, when the task was started, tags, and who's responsible. Your organization may choose to record additional information against these tasks. Within the action, you can edit the task, complete the task, add a remedial task to plan tasks, view remedial tasks, view the event log, or delete the task tasks. These will all depend on your user access rights. To complete the task, choose the complete option and then input the completion information and upload any evidence. This will then be recorded in the history tab. This is the remedial task tab against the plan task. The remedial task tab will list all of the remedial tasks associated to the plan task. You can filter for these tasks by going to the open filter and entering your search parameters. You can also add additional remedial tasks by going to the add remedial task button and entering the task details. This is the task document tab. Here your organization may preset and add default folders for you to upload information to or provide guidance. You can add folders by going to the action, add folder or add document. To view a folder, click into the folder and here you'll see any documents or additional folders that have been created. To view a document, choose the document to download. This is the task event log. The task event log records all transactions against the task. You can export the list to Excel if you want to analyze further. This is the history tab. The history tab records all task completions. You can choose the task completion by choosing the item from the list. And in here, you'll see the additional information of who completed the task, when it was completed, any completion comments. And here you can download the report. So you could view your fire risk assessment, your Legionella risk assessment, or any other completion evidence. You can export the list to review in Excel, or depending on your user access rights, you can edit, delete, and view the event blog. This is the remedial task record. The remedial task record is very similar to the planned task. The only difference is that it's got an origin task linking back to its parent planned task as opposed to a list of other remedial tasks. The remedial task will also give a description as to what is required uh, and what was identified during inspection. You can complete the task by going to action and choosing the complete option. Should you require support using the system, you can always refer to the support articles. To access the support articles, choose the support articles link from the dashboard. From there, choose the applicable category and then the applicable article. There you'll see a video explaining, in this example, how to set up property structures. You can raise support tickets in the system. To do that, choose the support ticket option from the dashboard. That would bring you to this page. And from here, you can raise the support ticket by choosing the support ticket option. From there, choose the applicable category Categories will vary from organization to organization, and then create the ticket. From here, enter your message and click submit. Once you've entered your message, one of the supporters will then get back to you. You'll receive a notification telling you that you've received a reply. This is the organization document page. You can access the organization document page by choosing the view documents link on the dashboard. Here, your organization may choose to share with you any specific documentation related to forms and templates, guidance documents, or policies and procedures. You can choose the folder by clicking on the folder. And from there, you can choose either the document or the subfolder. And then you can choose the document to download. If you have access, you can also add new folders or documents at this point. That's dependent on your user access roles. The system has an inbuilt notification system where you'll be notified of different changes to tasks or support tickets. You can view your notifications by going to the My Notifications and then choosing the notification from the list. You can also run reports in the system by choosing the Report Dashboard and then choosing the applicable option and going to the Report Builder or choosing an existing report. You can also search within the system. You can search for a number of different aspects from locations through to asbestos. Again, that will be dependent on your user access roles. Thank you for watching.